I'm William O'Flaherty, and welcome to a special extended edition of 90 Seconds to Knowing C.S. Lewis. Today, I'm just sharing highlights from the second half of day one from the 2020 Quotathon from early January on Facebook and Twitter. So this show is shorter than the first, but still longer than my regular format. As before, I'll just be reading the quote, but you'll see the reference for each expression. Every story of conversion is the story of a blessed defeat. We must be taught that this tent is not home. A thing may be morally neutral, and yet the desire for that thing may be dangerous. After all, almost the main work of life is to come out of ourselves, out of the little dark prison we are all born in. How little people know who think that holiness is dull. When one meets the real thing, It is irresistible. If even 10% of the world's population had it, would not the whole world be converted and happy before a year's end? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, which looks as if everything depended on us and our good actions. But the second half goes on, for it is God who worketh in you, which looks as if God did everything and we did nothing. Screwtape complains. Our research department has not yet discovered, though success is hourly expected, how to produce any virtue. This is a serious handicap. To be greatly and effectively wicked, a man needs some virtue. The real difficulty is, isn't it, to adopt one's steady beliefs about tribulation to this particular tribulation. For the particular, when it arrives, always seems so peculiarly intolerable. We depend for a very great deal of our happiness or misery on circumstances outside all human control. A right to happiness doesn't, for me, make much more sense than a right to be six feet tall, or to have a millionaire for your father, or to get good weather whenever you want to have a picnic. Screwtape proclaims, Prosperity knits a man to the world. He feels that he is finding his place in it, when really it is finding its place in him. I think no class of men are less enslaved to the past than historians. The unhistorical are usually, without knowing it, enslaved to a fairly recent past. The Apostle says, everyone must not only work, but work to produce what is good. It does one good to see the fine side of people we've always seen the worst of. The degraded commercialism of our minds is quite as much its result as its cause. The question is not whether we should bring God into our work or not. We certainly should and must. Each vocation has its peculiar dangers and peculiar rewards. I hope you enjoy this special extended edition of 90 Seconds to Knowing C.S. Lewis. Check the notes below to get a copy of the graphic images so you can share any of the individual quotations from EssentialCSLewis.com. Again, I'm William O'Flaherty, author of two books, C.S. Lewis Goes to Hell and The Misquotable C.S. Lewis. Finally, be sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share it with others.